Chris Evans butthole like ho, ho, ho. Five days later, Stephanie Sue never woke up from her hype. Honey! Stop it! Stop it! I'm doing a SpongeBob narration! Finally, she has officially morphed into her destiny. A pillow atop the sofa. She will live here for the rest of her days as a soft, cushiony pillow. I know that everyone was leaving in the comments. Oh my god, Sammy, like you were so amazing for not sleeping for 50 hours. Like, I don't know how you do it. Well, here's how I do it I don't sleep for 50 hours, and then I sleep for 30 an hour straight. <laughs> I feel like at the end of the day, it all balanced out too. I was sleeping more than I normally should. Five minutes ago, Stephanie. Oh my god, I haven't slept for 50 hours. I don't think I can sleep anymore. <laughs> and then five minutes later, it knocks out for 30 hours. <laughs> from this entire process if I have one takeaway. No, I can't do all night. <laughs> I'm gonna try to put that past in the past. I'm no longer gonna do it. I am no longer in school. I can't do this to my brain cells. They are already all messed up as it is. But today, we're back with a cleaning episode. It's gonna be cleaning, it's gonna be packing, and also I spent way too much money at Sephora. But it's because they were having a VIB sale. But, don't stop me. I have to pack. I've also decided I'm gonna be trying something different today. Oh, I'm trying not to be a hoarder. Oh my god, that was really hard, honestly. I just realized you can see my non-reusable straw through the gum. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. I'm really it's my fault. Morning. So in my head, it's kind of like, I mean, it's already in there. What would be the purpose of me throwing it out and then putting in a non-reusable one? Right? I'm trying not to be a hoarder today. I have decided- Don't, 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 don't say anything. The little motivation and inspiration I have to be a non-hoarder is very thin. So whatever you say, even if you breathe wrong today, I'm gonna suddenly forget this and my motivation will be gone to not be a hoarder. I'm gonna be packing up my closet. Main reason, office, that's where I've been living, that's where I've been sleeping, that's where I've been staying, and I feel like part of the reason that I feel like I'm not moving is because none of that shit is packed. It's more relaxed than ever. It's more messier than ever. It's more lit in than ever so I feel like once I see some emptiness in that space where I'm constantly am then I'll be like oh my god I'm moving soon I gotta finish packing so I'm gonna do all of the clothes in there I'm gonna try to do this thing it's not gonna be a perfect ratio so don't at me but I'm gonna try to get away with giving away a third of those clothes because I realized in the last one it's I really you yeah do a third you sure about that See, you're cutting, like, I'm a brick, I'm a thin brick wall of motivation for this. And you, every time you talk, a brick just flies away. <laughs> and my motivation to donate and not be a hoarder just flies away. And slowly it is replaced by a layer of clothing. I'm making a clothing wall. You know what you should do? Okay, check what? this out. I think the fundamental of your thinking is wrong. It's wrong. Why? Because nobody wants to give away their stuff. Nobody wants to take away. Excuse you, I'm a good person. I'm just kidding. Yeah, right? true. Well, you should think of as you're giving away everything in your closet. But you get to keep some key pieces. Now you're- How did I go from two thirds to some <laughs> key pieces? <laughs> everything is gone. Now you get to select the pieces that's meaningful to you. You don't seem credible, so <laughs> moving on. <laughs> Here's my 
mental struggle. My mental struggle has always been every time we move, for some reason, the rest of the apartment, yes, indeed, it does get better. The closet space, indeedly, gets worse. The storage situation increasingly gets smaller. And so every time we move, every time I'm packing, I'm like, oh my god, I need to think about how smaller the closet is in the new place, right? Mm -hmm. But this place, I'm like, I could fit two full ass closets of clothes in this closet. So do I really need to get rid of clothes? Yeah. <laughs> so we're just gonna do that, but first, I need to ask you a very serious question. What does this look like to you? I'm going to insert a picture. She's on, oh, she got in a motorcycle accident? She, oh, she should drink, he hit her, he hit her. No, they both have a motorcycle helmet. <laughs> she got in some headache. She had a headache. She had a headache. She's having a headache. Is that a small water commercial? Is that really? It's not a small water commercial. Wait a minute. She got the fire the fire. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you guys. That was it? Just Those like, were the pictures. So this was a huge scandal. I feel like every news outlet has talked about it, but I'm not a news channel, so I just learned out about it. And it's so crazy because this girl, she's an influencer, and she posted all of these pictures, and she had this long story of how she got onto a motorcycle, she was wearing a helmet, she was protected, and she got into an accident, and she was so scared for her life. Yes. And one of her friends was there, who happened to be a photographer, and snapped these pictures. Okay. Right? <clears throat> And what? a lot of people are upset. Some people say it's staged for attention, or some people say maybe she did get into a small accident because she did show proof of like a little bit of scars later, not crazy. Yes. And so they're saying maybe she did get into an accident, but then afterwards they were like, oh, let's take these pictures, right? Yes. And then some people had a theory that it was a smart ad or smart water ad, but it wasn't. Smart water came out and was like, no, we're not working with her, so sorry. And so everyone's just wondering, like, was that appropriate to post, or does it romanticize? Accidents. Oh, wait, let me read her caption. See, I don't want to dig on her too hard just because sometimes things just look weird and you can't help it. So this is me and my bike about an hour before I got into an accident. If you guys watched my story Sunday, you'll know about it, but if you didn't, here's the scary magical series of events. Don't like the word magical, but who am I? A few of us rode down to somewhere to take pictures and my friend Blank was shooting and my other sweet friend was riding while a friend of Lindsay's, that's a lot of friends you got. That's a humble brag. <laughs> I'm more upset about this humble bragging you're doing right now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They drove around and she had her helmet on. She was scared, relieved, and so thankful that she could still move all of her joints and that she never lost consciousness. Three years ago, she lost her partner in a motorcycle accident oh my goodness and then she ends it with a quote life is a gift and an adventure okay here's my two cents not that anyone cared right i think that she did get into an accident yeah. i don't know if these photos were taken in real time maybe afterwards she was all cleaned up and then they were like man that was just so crazy why does it matter if it's in real time or not because it romanticizes accidents Especially with something I think is as fun as a motorcycle. Mm. In theory, it's a fun concept. What people mm. don't realize is motorcycles are so dangerous. Yeah. And so to do something like this, because my one of our close family friends, and I called him an uncle, yeah. got into an accident, mm -hmm. yeah. and she's wearing like short sleeves on this. Yeah. And he was wearing, I believe he was wearing like a thick jacket. I don't think it was a leather jacket. He was wearing a thick jacket, skidded. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, he was okay, but mm -hmm. he had like second degree burns on his arm because the pavement yeah. just goes through your clothes. Yeah. So people are saying it very like romanticizes like motorcycles, makes accidents not seem so serious and just like life is an adventure, like live your life to the fullest, you know. Remember uh, Casey? His arm, do you remember? You're friends with Casey Neistat? Just kidding. Yeah. Oh, Casey, yes, yes, yes. You never saw the pictures. Because I didn't want to see it. Yeah, his bones were showing on his head. Took a bunch of pictures. And then people are also saying, hey, listen, if I was laying on the pavement like yeah. that and my friend was snapping pics, yeah. she would, she, I would fling my motorcycle at her. But isn't that what they say about every, those crazy photographer, they go to all sorts of places in, in the world and take these No, but that's photos? the thing. So people brought that up too on Reddit. Yeah. And they're saying those photographers, yes. they make it 
more serious like wartime photographers yes. they go into war zones yes. and they snap pictures because that's the only way humans all around the world will yes. care yes because they see it yes. and so they do edit and they do color grade in a way that makes it more emotional and more dark yes. but the purpose of it is very positive because mm -hmm. it makes you care about something happening in the world whereas mm -hmm. this it was color graded to be just Instagram aesthetic it wasn't mm -hmm. color graded to show more blood or more pain mm -hmm. you know it's just very like pretty I don't know leave it in the comments I was thinking about it too because I was thinking at first I was upset that people were mad at her because I was thinking hey if I was on a bike and I got into an accident and I was so scared and I wanted other people to be like hey be careful I feel like the best impact is to show people like you know what mm -hmm. happened but then I saw the pictures and I was like oh wow she viscoed that shit but then I love Steph Beyonce on the side vampire vampire diaries vampire CW show smart water I drink more water got milk bitch that's a confusing photo <laughs> it's a really confusing photo that looks like a vampire diary ass. I'm not gonna lie okay my brick wall is depleted just Keep a few pieces. Okay, you do realize though, if I do keep a few pieces, then I'm gonna feel the urge to go shopping. Okay, you keep everything. Okay, I'm gonna do the laundry. Also, my back is open. You guys are gonna see it. Oh wow, that looks bootylicious. Trust, it's just the pants. I got this shirt from Fabletics, and the back is open not because I wanted to be a sexy sister, but because my fiance gives the best back scratches. And every time he makes me like lift up my shirt all the way, and I was like, this is easy access. I just flip it open. So, welcome to the life of marriage. Nothing is about sex anymore. It's all about them back scratches. Oh, no. We don't have enough boxes. I'm gonna have to order some boxes. Maybe we'll find a new home for that. These are essentially, this is what I like to call the octopus hanger. Very not as useful as I thought it would be, but very cute. These are probably the world's loudest washer and dryers. I'm so excited to get new washer and dryers and it happens so perfectly because it's actually Labor Day weekend, the weekend that before we move and everything's on sale, like including Best Buy, all the washers and dryers. I sound like an old lady. Ready? Listen to this. This is so loud! I never noticed how loud it was until I went to my sister's place and she has this fancy, fancy Samsung dryer and I never realized how loud mine is. But that's kind of the situation at hand. I'm gonna wash the whites and then we're gonna pack this. All of this, most of this. I only have three boxes left. Actually, before I do all of that, I realized that I should probably box up and tape those boxes and I need to order more boxes on Amazon. Let's label those clothes because I'm about to add a bunch of boxes to this and then at the end I add one. I'm just kidding. Why am I out of breath, you ask? And why is this wall suddenly empty? It's because I've decided that I'm finally officially an old lady and I think that I'm also a flight attendant because I feel like having those boxes right there, what if there was a fire? I need to clear the walkway so that I can breezy, easily get out of this apartment in case shit goes down. So I'm building my little box wall here. I realize I don't like this shirt. It makes me feel like it's a bougier, cuter hospital gown because my back is all out. <laughs> it feels so vulnerable. And we're back! That was supposed to have a much cooler effect than what I just did. It was supposed to be like raining products. Ooh. But then it was just really pulling on my extensions and that's okay. We're moving on, guys. Okay, so here's the thing. Sephora had a VIP rear sale. I got 20% off. I'm gonna do a quick haul for you guys. This time around, I was really conscious. Okay, I did not want to use all of my mortgage money on my Sephora products. And this is really rare for me because typically when I go on during like Sephora VIP rear sales, I get crazy with it. I don't know what's wrong with me and I just feel like I need to review everything I need to do this for research purposes and I just start adding shit that I never would have gotten if it weren't on sale for the sale. So this time around, I kept a couple rules for myself, which was if I don't already own it, if I don't already use it, I'm not experimenting. So I really wanted to use this as a money saving tactic. So you're gonna see a lot of repeats. If you guys are new to my channel, then you're probably not, but these are my favorite things for right now. Okay, I change my favorite things like maybe every six months. The first thing that I got are the fresh soy cleansers. I got two of these bad boys. These are the limited edition. I think it's like their 20th anniversary, which if you guys don't know, I'm on Fresh's PR list. It's like the only PR list I'm on. Okay, now that's a lie, but I love Fresh and I always talk about them and I they always send me free product and I always talk about it and I feel like you guys think that it's just like I want to stay on their PR list, but no, trust me 
when I say this, I'm about to show you something so nuts. You're gonna think I'm losing my marbles. I know I got another one. Oh, I already opened the new one. I got not one, not two, and not three because I already, I had four and I opened one and I put it in my bathroom. These are the fresh Umbrian clay masks, which I love so, so much. And like even Fresh knows I love this, so they send it to me regularly, but I'm like going out of my way to buy this because I will not, I will not go anywhere without this. So the mask instructions, disregard it. Grab the instructions on the box. Throw it out the window. So I never use those instructions and it's pretty much put it all over your face for 10 minutes and then wash it off. I don't do that. I actually use this as spot treat, but my hair is greasy. All of that at night, touching my bare skin, including my neck, my chest, my back, anything that my hair touches at night, it's like fair game for breakouts. And for some reason if I put this on even on my chest or like even on my face But I do realize that my face is less irritated when I wake up I will say it makes your bed super gross It makes it look very flaky and like dead skinny, but then you just have to realize it's a clay mask So I got three of those. I also got two of the fresh Umbrian clay same line from fresh They're oil-free lotions lotions, and I did not get this for myself I got this for my fiance because when I first met him, let me tell you about his skincare evolution When I first met this dude, he never wore lotion and I don't know how that works. I don't know how he could just wash his face and then not apply lotion afterwards, but he didn't. And then I introduced him to the beautiful thing called my boot and lotion. I changed his life pretty much. He started wearing lotion after me, like after we met, and he started wearing this like Target brand. I'm a man. Okay, they sell it at Target. I forgot what it's called. It's like, I'm a man. And the scent is like, lumberjack, like freaking Chris Evans butthole. Like, ho, 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 pube hair. It's like very manly and, and I just felt like it wasn't doing anything for his skin. And so I gave him some lotion from Sephora to use and he hated it. And then so we tried this fresh one because I got it in a PR package and it's like oil free. It's very light. I don't use it because I actually like my moisturizers to be a little bit more thick, but he loves this. It's not thickums. If you guys have a boyfriend, a boo, a dad, a brother, whoever, or you are super oily and greasy, use this. It's life changing for him. So I got him two of these. I'm a great fiance. This is his birthday gift. Maybe also Christmas. Aww. And then I also got these Amori Pacific treatment toners. I really wanted to get the SK2 Essence and the SK2 toners because everybody talks about them and they're a Korean brand and it's super fancy and like luxurious. But then I was like, I know myself if I get it. I'm just gonna be so crazy about using it. Like I'm gonna use so little of it. So I got two of these. This is what I have in my skincare fridge right now. I love it. I don't know if I love it because my mom, this is like the one thing that my mom taught me that I stayed with for the rest of my life, I think. But like every other advice she gave, any other recommendation she, she gave out the window. Oh wait, I guess I got three of the soy flakes cleansers because my fiance started using these two. Oh, I guess I got three of his, of his lotions too. But I'm gonna buy these anyway, so I might as well get him 20% off, right? Right? Right. And then I got my House of Lash lash glue, favorite lash glue ever. It's the only thing that stays on. I know you guys are gonna say, but your lashes are so wonky all the time. It's because I put them on wonky, but the glue itself usually almost always stays throughout the day. We're gonna start with the Marc Jacobs. This is the Marc Jacobs from Mar Remarkable. I just have snot everywhere. Remarkable foundation. Medium bisque. I like it. Don't love it. Looking for a new foundation. Have been looking for a new foundation for quite some time. Can't find it. I feel like Pat McGrath because I have her eyeshadow palette, which I love. Super pigmented. She's an amazing artist. And she came out with like, her new foundation line for the first time ever. And I can't... I can't tell if people really love it. It's got very mixed reviews from all the booty gurus. And also I heard there's a lot of booty guru drama of like people being very close friends with Pat or being sponsored by Pat. And so I don't know. And it's a very expensive foundation. It's like $60. And I typically, I don't like to return stuff if I've used it because I know they can't resell it. And so I'm like, I don't know who eats the cost. Like, does it hurt Pat? Does it hurt Sephora? I know it shouldn't hurt me, but I just take the hit because I just feel, I feel really weird about returning things so I didn't know if I should get it during the sale and the sale is over now so maybe I won't get it but let me know in the comments does the Pat McGrath foundation work is it nice I also got two of my favorite Kat Von D lip liners these are in the Lovecraft I've been using them since I started working in LA which was maybe like I'm really bad with time but sometime along there this was like my, my go-to work thing because I couldn't go to the bathroom often and reapply lipstick so that one always stayed on and I've been using it ever since and I got these beauty blender packs and they've got three pink beauty blenders first of all it's pink second of all also I have this thing right now I don't want to open this until we move into the new place so my beauty blender right now is so disgusting it is filthy but I'm not gonna replace it because I don't want to open this package until I move which is so stupid because the day I move I'm gonna open it 
but it just I just can't do it for some reason so I got this this one is a steal even without the 20% discount because it's three for $45 when typically it'd be three for 60 so I feel like I got a good deal on that one I also tried I got this sample the born this way one I picked up the sample didn't pay for it and because I heard the born this way foundation is really awesome I've never tried it let me know in the comments if you've tried it this is the fresh sugar strawberry exfoliating face wash and I love this one too it smells so good and usually I don't like exfoliating washes but this one it does not like get me too dry. I can use it daily and be fine. And then this one is the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. I love this one, Korean brand. And then I also got the True Cream Aqua Balm. I got the small version. Usually I get the big ones because winter is a common. And when it's winter time, I like to switch over to a much thicker, much more moisturizing moisturizer. And this one is very moisturizing, but it's a little bit like, like that gel texture, which I like, but during the winter I need something thicker. This is where I lied. <laughs> this is where I really lied. But I needed a couple of things. These are things I've never tried before, which just defeats the whole purpose of me saying this entire Sephora haul is me saving money because I bought these without ever trying them and I really wanted to experiment with them. And the first thing is I got two of these Pat McGrath eyeliners. I usually use the Sephora one, but I decided to pick two of these up because I love Pat McGrath. I don't know why. She doesn't know I exist. I love her. And I started using one already. Amazing. Amazing. And then I know that vitamins have like a really bad rep right now, but um, this is the Hum Daily Cleanse. It just says it helps clear your skin and body from taxans with green algae so we're gonna try it and the next thing I got that I'm trying out is this beauty blender liquid soap my sister swears by it I don't know if it works I don't know if it's overhyped I usually wash my beauty blender in just hand soap and it seems to be working out fine but I will say I think the rate at which I have to replace my beauty blenders is a lot quicker than hers so hopefully this will save me money in the long run next two things I got are just exciting things that I really wanted to try especially because they were having the sale the first one is the Mount Light J textured facial roller Everybody's got a facial roller. Everybody's got jade facial rollers, but this one's textured. Do you have a textured one? I don't think so. I don't know anyone else that does. So I'm really excited to, I don't know, like fake cosmetic surgery my way into some cheekbone action is my goal and dream with this one. And then the second thing I got is this Sephora collection. I thought these were so cute. I don't believe in crystals. You guys know that, but I also don't believe in it because I've never tried it. So I am very, very stupid about that. So I probably should do some research and then decide that I'm not a believer in crystals but this one has wait let me read this to you this one has rose quartz jade and amethyst so if I start putting this on my face and suddenly I win the lottery and my fiance loves me again and the dogs like me again and like you know the pool is nice and everything goes well maybe crystals work but who knows, I'll let you guys know. And that's everything I got from Sephora, which I feel like I made it sound like I got like the entirety of Sephora, but a lot of them were just repeats of the ones that I always get, so. I feel, I feel good about this purchase. It was hard because I still was like, I don't want to spend this much money, but then I realized that I'm gonna end up spending more money because I always get these things. So now, onto the clothes. What's good? What's poppin'? Welcome to my closet. It's a shit show. It's a mess. It's incredibly frustrating. I'm so sick of this closet for one and only reason. It's not even about this space. This space doesn't even get to me. The part that gets to me is look at this architecture. You have a window here. You have a window here. It is incredibly difficult. There is about a foot of space here and a foot of space here that is difficult to reach and see at both points of entry. It has just been a struggle bus. I don't like these doors. Like, I just wish I had a closet where I could open it up and see all the inventory, all the goods at the same time. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put everything pretty much over here and maybe on this desk and then we're gonna see which ones we donate and which ones we keep. Bob? 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 <sighs> Honestly, have you seen a sexier Bob the Builder, honey?
to be a working hazard, a safety hazard, and the thottiness must be stopped. Be stopped. Some of these clothes, they are so thotty that they are flammable. I have caution taped it. I don't think it's safe for me to pack. So I think that's gonna, <laughs> I think that's gonna be it for today's a hard days at work. Right. This all started because I found caution tape in my closet. Don't ask me why I found caution tape in my closet. You know what I hate about this face mask? I can smell everything I ate today. <laughs> this is a working hazard, but you know what? I'm brave. Don't say I never did nothing for y'all. Never. Caution tape off. I mean, I don't even know. I don't even know. Okay, I'm just <laughs> just gonna go in circles until my brain cells give me a good idea about how to even conquer this massive mountain of just nastiness. No, no more, more hoarding. No, no more, more, more hoarding. Jeez Louise, my nose has never been so stuffed, but I'm essentially keeping one, two, three more boxes of clothes. So I I know people are gonna say that I have a problem, but I think I did pretty good fitting my entire clothing, except for the ones in the laundry and the wash, into six boxes of clothes. And then these are just some of the things that I'm gonna donate. Um, this is my debate pile. I have some other accessories in there that I'm not gonna touch. I just wanted to do most of the clothes. I don't know what I'm gonna be wearing for the next six days, but look at this. So I have clothes drying in the wash, and then I also have a pile of clothes in here. I just have clothes laying everywhere. <laughs> I just have lashes everywhere. And finally, here we are seeing a massive tower of boxes starting to form. I even put most of my hangers in here. I try to color coordinate it because they go crazy when certain hangers are mixed matched in colors. Spent two hours doing that. That's so rude. I'm sorry, what did you pack today? These gone. Sorry, that was you were supposed to say that, but you weren't gonna say it, so I had to do the joke for him. I even packed the hangers. Nespresso came in handy with that box because I put a lot of hangers in that box. But I will say, I will say this: we ordered a machine from them. It was broke, and we called to exchange it. Shipped it. They were like, "Yes, it's gonna be there in two to three business days." Took about two weeks, <laughs> and that's okay. I stayed caffeinated with their nemesis, Starbucks. Was go was poppin'. I'm sorry. I just feel like I just cheated on my Nespresso machine. I feel like she can hear me, and I feel like she's gonna break down again. This is essentially what's happened. I feel like I'm pretty proud of myself. I essentially only have like six boxes of clothes. I feel like you spent fifty percent of the time just labeling, putting stickers, and drawing. You know what, sir? <laughs> This is gonna come in so handy when all the boxes are stacked and then you're gonna be like, babe, babe, I only wrote it on top, but the top is covered by five more boxes. And then I'm gonna say, oh, just hold on a second, sir. Steph's winter clothes right here in case you were looking for it. No, this is not my winter clothes, it's just my regular, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> How yes. many do you think it's, we're gonna have? So right now there's eight. On the day yes. we move, yes. How many do you predict? See who okay. gets the closest. Winner gets. Winner gets to watch the other person unpack. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say, fifty boxes. Fifty boxes? What the? How many? I mean, I don't know. What How many people do you live with? <laughs> Seems like a lot. <laughs> Me and all my other personalities. I'm a gamer, <laughs> you know, I'm a mukbanger, sometimes I'm a vlogger, sometimes I'm professional, and sometimes I'm just a little thought Tiana. Dude, last time we had so many boxes and we have even more stuff now because I'm a hoarder. Fine, 45. You can't do that. You know what, 49. You can't do that because now you're just gonna make me tape empty boxes together to pass 50. I'm gonna go for 51 bits. And you'll never know which one was empty because- You're not packing. Okay, so you're gonna write it on the empty boxes. <laughs> it just says, master empty. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I need to go shower and steam up my nostrils because I have major allergies. So I'll see you guys tomorrow oh, with a non-moving vlog. I promise. No more packing tomorrow. Oh.